So judging by a recent video, you will know there's a lot of things I don't really like about Battlefront 2, but one thing I cannot complain about is the map design. Just like in Battlefront 1, the maps look incredible in Battlefront 2, and the best part is we've got 11 large maps to choose from here today. I'm going to be counting down my top 5 favourite maps, so without further ado, let's start off with 5th place. Moss Eisley on the planet of Tatooine is first on my list here today, and wow, what an incredible map this is. I thought we had too much Tatooine in the last game, but this is the one map we were missing, and we've finally got it. Well, why do I like this map? Well, not only is it one of the most iconic locations in the Star Wars saga, but the attention to detail is incredible. There are so many easter eggs situated around the map, with the Mos Eisley Cantina itself and a hologram of the band inside there. There are also lots of creatures as well which aren't in the Out of Bounds area, that's what I'm so happy about. In the last game all the cool stuff was in the Out of Bounds area, but you can actually go up to these creatures such as Banthas. Everything else aside, it's just great to be able to play in one of my personal favourite Star Wars locations. In 4th place we have the Great Masasi Temple on Yavin 4. Now the last game was solely focused on the original trilogy and it was missing one of the most iconic original trilogy planets being Yavin and it's so nice to have that in Battlefront 2. We're seeing a lot of Yavin 4 in Star Wars lately, obviously it was a big part of Rogue One, it's also in the Rebels series and I think that's why I'm liking it so much because we're seeing that much of it at the moment, it's made me just want to play on this planet. The temple itself is my favourite part of this map, it's nice to go in there and see lots of references to A New Hope and also Rogue One. The temple structure is so well designed and I think that does make the map for me to be honest, without that I don't think this map would make the list. It's always cool to play as the rebels defending what is essentially your base, or play as the Imperials and try and infiltrate the rebels headquarters. Kachiro Beach on Kashyyyk is at my number 3 spot and I have to say this is probably the most well designed map on the game. I may be wrong in saying this so do let me know in the comments section but I believe this might be the biggest map on the game as well. I love Kachiro Beach because we get to see more of what we didn't essentially see much of in Revenge of the Sith. We saw bits of the Battle of Kashyyyk in Revenge of the Sith but not too much and it's nice to be able to take part in the battle itself. There's just so much on offer here, fighting on the beaches, defending slash attacking the turbo tanks, and my personal favourite part, fighting inside the Republic cruiser. I can't be the only one that wishes we could fight in Wookiee gunships or the turbo tanks themselves, but apart from that, Kashyyyk is perfect. Feed City on Naboo, however, does get my number 2 spot, and this is all down to personal preference, really. Yes, while Kashyyyk is easily the most well-designed planet on the game, Naboo is one of my favourite planets personally in the Star Wars universe. We saw bits of feed in the Star Wars prequels, but we were mainly inside the palace for most of it, we didn't get to see much of the city, and that's what I love exploring in Battlefront 2. Also, as a smaller Naboo map for the likes of Heroes vs Villains, we have the power sector where Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn took on Darth Maul. That map alone is so amazing and it just makes me wish we had Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon so we could recreate a very iconic battle. But overall fighting on the streets or inside the Royal Palace of Naboo is always fun, however there is one map that tops this. And that is the cloning facility on Kamino. Yes, I'm very biased here. I love the Clone Wars TV series. I love the Kamino scenes from Attack of the Clones. It's one of my favourite planets in the Star Wars universe. Playing as Phase 1 clone troopers taking on the droid army is my favourite thing to do in Battlefront 2 by a long way. Every time I turn a corner, I see a reference to the Clone Wars TV show, which personally keeps me very engaged. Also the design on Kamino, it goes without saying, but it is incredible. I kid you not, sometimes in the middle of a game I just completely stop playing the objective and take a look at how beautiful this map actually is. I'm not one for flying in video games as a lot of you will already know, but when I'm on Camino, I can't help just getting into a vehicle and exploring the planet further. There are very few planets that would overtake Camino on my list if they were to be added to Battlefront 2, only the likes of Coruscant and Mustafar really stand a chance of doing that. But that is my list of my top favourite maps in Battlefront 2, did you agree or disagree let me know in the comments section. I really hope you enjoyed everyone and I will see you all next time.